Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be installing Jellyfin Media Server on Proxmox Ubuntu Live Server. First off, we're going to log into our Proxmox server and we're going to create a virtual machine using the live server. So if you haven't already, make sure you download the live server iOS, upload it to Proxmox. Once you do that, we're going to create a virtual machine. Now, a lot of these settings, I'm going to leave a default for the purpose of this video. But when you set this up on your home network, adjust the RAM and the storage to your needs. I give it a name. I'm going to name it Jellyfin. And Jellyfin is like Plex Media Server, except this one's free. So once you give it a name, click Next. Make sure the guest OS is Linux. Select the iOS image as the live server file. Make sure it's recording, the mic's not muted. Oh, once that's done, I'm going to leave this at default. Next. Now for storage, I would recommend giving it as much as you need for your media. But for this video, I'm going to leave it as 32 gigabytes. I'm going to leave the CPU at default. Again, when this is set up properly in your home network, you want these settings, you want these settings to cover your needs. Memory, I would personally give it around a about four gigabytes but for this video i'm going to leave it at two all right once your virtual machine has finished cooking up here we're going to go to console i'm going to click start and set up the live server i also just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed on the channel we are now nearly at 2.2k which is amazing and 623,000 channel views so thank you guys so much thank you guys for the recent support on the last couple of videos i appreciate that and it has been 10 days since i've done a last home lab video which i feel really bad about not being able to do home lab videos i am trying my best but my situation i record when i can and I record at home lab tutorials and videos and self host services when I can. It's just hard at the hard at the moment. It's been hard the last two years, but we're slowly getting back out there as much as we possibly can. Once your virtual machine has loaded up, we're gonna select our language, and then we're gonna we're gonna update with the new installer just to make sure everything go, runs smoothly. Now this may take a bit, so just give it some time. If you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Because I see in the YouTube studio, there's about 90% who haven't subscribed. So if you like this type of content, please make sure to subscribe. I have had a few comments where people want this Proxmox video or this type of video. I've got my Proxmox videos and Homelet videos in a playlist. I'll have it linked up here somewhere. But... um. Most likely I've answered your question, so be sure to check out the playlist to what you're referring to. Now it's going to pull a IP address for your server, so click done once it's loaded. Done. Now just let it do this mirror configuration. I've personally never installed Jellyfin, so we're going to do this for the first time together. And so let's hope it works. With my luck it won't work. Configurations for storage. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use the entire disk. This is where you can partition it and do whatever you want. But I'm just gonna leave it default. Continue. All right. So you can put your name in. I'm just gonna put my YouTube name in. So home lab. Networks. Give your server a name. I'm gonna just keep it as home lab networks. Pick a username, Home Lab Networks, and create a password. So this will be the password and username we use to SSH into the server. So we're going to do that very soon. Because to, to install Jellyfin, it's a lot of um, copy and paste commands, which I'll have in the description below. Um, install open SSH server, base bar for yes, and done. Right now it's going to install the system, and once this is done, guys, I will see you at the next step. Once your live server has booted up, log in to your account that you made during the installation. 
All right, so once we're in, take note of your IP address, IPv4, which is this one here. Mine ends in 115. So open up Putty. And then where it says hostname or IP address, we're going to put in this IP on the server. So 192.168.1.115. And then just leave everything at default and click open. You're going to accept it. And then where it says login as, we're going to put the live server username and password. Using Putty, because as I said, to install Jellyfin, I've got a document which I will have linked in the des description, and we're going to be copying and pasting a lot of commands. First off, what we're going to, going to do once we're in the server is write an apt update just to update all our packages. So we go sudo apt update. It's going to make everything up to date. Put your password in and let it update the packages. Now, 57 packages can be upgraded, so we go and do a sudo apt upgrade dash y. It's going to upgrade the packages and then we're up to date. Our packages are up to date. We should be able to just write clear to clear the screen. Right, so now we can start to install Jellyfin. First things first. I'm, I'm just going to be copy and pasting commands basically. I'll have it in the description as I've said multiple times throughout the video. So what we want to do is to install their required software packages for Jellyfin. It's just another apt install. Again, I'll have these commands in the description. Once you have the command copied, you just want to right click once and then their command should pop up. And so I'm going to click enter. Then we're going to click yes to install the packages. All right, once the packages have been installed, we're going to add the repository key for Jellyfin, which is a wget command. Paste it right there and click enter. I'm going to pull that key and that's done. Beautiful. Next step, we're going to add a Jellyfin to the repository, which is an echo command. Add in here, click enter. So that is done. So once uh, once a Jellyfin has been added to the re repository, we're just going to do a sudo apt update. Just to make sure, because there there's new packages now, we want to update those packages. Packages are updated, then we can install Jellyfin. So that is done. I'm just going to sudo apt install Jellyfin. That's not right. Install Jellyfin. And you've got to make sure you're typing everything, everything correctly, unlike me. Otherwise, it obviously won't work. I have got a second screen here just to make sure what I'm typing is correct. Yes. All right, so now this, is, now this is going to install the program Jellyfin on our Linux server. Once this is done, we're going to type in another two commands to make sure the server's up and running. Hopefully it is. And then we're going to navigate to the GUI on our web page. Now that Jellyfin is installed, we're going to do a sudo system ctl start Jellyfin. And that command's going to start the server for Jellyfin. So the next command we're going to type in is sudo system ctl enable jellyfin, which is going to enable jellyfin, essentially. Now that that command has been done, we're going to access a jellyfin. So what we're going to do is go back to the web browser, http colon slash slash our Linux server IP address. Five colon, and we're going to put the port in 8096. And now we now have Jellyfin on our home network. I'm going to click next. We're going to put our username, so I'm going to put in Home Lab Networks. Type in a password for a Jellyfin account and confirm your password.
Oh, congratulations. You now have Jellyfin installed in your home network. Guys, oh, so that's how you install Jellyfin on your home server in your home network. You now have Jellyfin installed. You have your own media server. So now you can start uploading your media to the server. And now, yeah. So if you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment even, and please consider subscribing for more home lab videos and tutorials and videos to come in the future. My name's AJ and I'll see you guys in the next one.